Have you ever been working in C-sharp and had an error message that said inconsistent accessibility, return type is less accessible than the method? That's an error that often trips people up, so I wanna show you how to resolve it. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I fix this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into our code. And here I've already built this demo and it's already failing. So what I have here is a, a method that's called the demo method. The only thing it does is it returns this list. Okay, so it returns this list of data and I said, okay, I wanna return a list of person model, which I've got a list of person model and I'm saying return. But yet it says right here, inconsistent accessibility. Return type list of person model is less accessible than the method, demo method. So this is something that is really important to read your error messages because your error message actually tells you what's going on. There is a difference in the accessibility. Well, what makes something more or less accessible? The modifier, this right here, the public. Well, let's go look at person model because list is just a, you know, it's just a list, but person model, well, person model is internal or maybe it just is class, still has the same issue. So let's put back to internal and how can you fix this? So one way you could fix this is to make this internal. That fixes the problem. Why? Well, because this person model is only available internally. And if you don't know about the different types of accessibility, I have a whole video on that about public, private, internal, uh, protected, and so on. Um, there's a couple that kind of mash together, but this needs to match this. So if we've got a method that's returning a list of person model, well, if it's public, it can go pretty much anywhere. Anyone can call this method, but not everyone then can access this person model because person model only works internally. So there's a difference in who can access. So more people can access this method than can access the data that is trying to return. So you have to match those two to make them correctly um, so that everyone who asks or calls the method can get the data. Let's put it that way. So if I made this public, the person model, well, that solves the problem because now these match, but I could even make this internal. And we say, well, wait, Tim, why does that work? Why does that direction work? Well, because now only people who have access internally can access this method, but it returns data that could be accessed by more than that. See, everyone who can call this method can get this data because more people can get the data than can call the method. But you can't go the opposite direction. You can't have a, a publicly available method that returns less than publicly available classes. So when you get that error, just note, you got a mismatch, probably in the data you're returning compared to the method as far as your accessibility, which is what that error message told you. So as long as you either match them up or make sure your method is more restricted than the data it returns or as restrictive, then you're, you're good to go. Okay, so that's how to resolve that, that error message about inconsistent accessibility. All right, that's it. That's how you solve that problem. Hopefully it won't uh, trip you up again, but if it does, this video will make sure to help you point you in the right direction. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.